Hey everyone, welcome to week two, day one of Boring But Big and Really Sore. I'm doing my press day today. I'm actually still sick at this point, uh, but I have the gym to myself, so I'm not worried about getting anyone else sick. I decided to do strict press today. Uh, I haven't done strict press with the barbell out of the rack for a while. Here's 175 for a set of three. It moves really fast. Um, I have initially had my sweatshirt on because it was cold, but I realized that it was restricting my movement on the presses, so I ended up taking that off. The second set, I do 200 for three. It feels quite a bit heavier than the 175, and I'm definitely sweating uh, not because of the work, but because of uh, the fever that I'm running at this point. Uh, but I decided to take it easy. I'm not supersetting anything. And I'm not pushing conditioning hard today and taking my time with rest. So just feeling it out. I had to get myself pumped up a little bit for this. This is 225. I haven't strict pressed this in a long time. My all-time record for 225 is five reps. I knew I wasn't getting five reps on this day. I was just hoping to get the bare minimum of three, which the program calls for at least three on this set. I know at this point that I'm definitely getting a third one, but it is 100% a grinder. Uh, there's no way there's a fourth one in there, not today, but I think as I continue to work on strict press again, that I'm going to be able to surpass that five reps here in a few weeks with 225. I decide that I want to do some joker sets, so just adding a little bit of weight and doing singles. I haven't gotten enough pressing out because I only got three reps on my as many reps as possible. So there's 230 for a single, and then I attempt 235 as well. I know I'm right next to my max when my left arm starts to press faster than my right arm. I haven't figured out why that is. My right arm is definitely stronger, but when I press with both of them, my left arm seems to press much faster. So I decided to use the axle today for my 5x10. I used the log last week. Uh, the axle is much easier than the log. It's much easier to move. I am better at a barbell or axle than I am a log or a neutral grip press any time of the day. Just like last week, while I have the axle ready, I do a five by 10 of rows, and I also superset these with the five by 10 of lunges, which felt much easier overall than last week. Small little tip, uh, you get an extra press if you take your lunges from the ground like I did here. So I get an extra press on the front, and then I get an extra press when I'm done with the lunges from behind the neck. So whatever I do during this workout, I get an extra 10 free presses with the 110. And behind the neck press. All right, this is double speed here. Um, I am doing a shoulder circuit. So I did pin press with the axle for 10 reps, then tricep pushdowns, uh, front raises, and then face pulls, and moved right into Z press with the axle, tricep pushdowns, front raises, and then face pulls. And this one I ended up doing 15 reps of just regular barbell or regular axle presses 
and then did this drop set of triceps. I don't do the drop set for all of them, just the last one to get every bit of energy out of my arms. Uh, thinking back, maybe it wasn't so smart because the day after this I plan on doing bench, but the bench workout ended up being completely fine. Uh, so pushing my triceps to failure didn't actually negatively affect me, and if it did, I have a heck of a PR coming when I'm not fatigued. So these get really hard. I do end up working down to the smallest possible on this machine, which is 20 pounds. And the 20 pounds isn't enough to actually give a stimulus, so I end up cutting myself short on that. Uh, if you remember last week, I did press into with the barbell into dips, into lateral raises, into face pulls. I wanted to change it up, and I'll change it up again basically every week that I do this just to get a different press stimulus, uh, different triceps and stuff. It's a good way to work in different accessories that you wouldn't usually do. Uh, so my back looks really good today. Uh, I'm impressed. Um, I start with 25 pounds on the front raises. These are horrible because I've already exhausted my delts from all the other front raises and presses I've done. And just like the tricep pushdowns, I work down 5 pounds at a time. I go down the 20s and then 15s, then actually have 12s, 8s, and then finish with some 5s. I even have 3s, but I don't decide to use those. Uh, I end up getting really swollen and a really good pump. Um, my delts actually turn a pretty bright red at one point doing this, and I try to show you guys by doing a set facing the camera. It just doesn't show up very well. If you can't tell, I'm still congested right now. Uh, but like I said, I did get a bench workout in today, and I was really happy with it, and you'll see that video tomorrow probably. So here, like I said, I tried to show how red my delts were, it just didn't show up on camera. Uh, instead, you just get dad belly and bald head, so sorry about that. So instead of face pulls, I wanted to do band pull-aparts, uh, but all the bands in this gym have just disappeared. I don't know if they've eventually been broken or they've been taken, but I swear a few weeks ago I was using bands to warm up. So I don't know where they went. <clears throat> That's okay. Face pulls are just fine for what I wanted. I'm doing the same thing here, drop sets. Um... I'm having a hard time with these. Uh, I know they're a rear delt and upper back workout, but my front delts are so fried at this point that it's actually the pump in my front delts that's preventing me from getting more reps than I want here. Even on the lightest set that was too easy on the tricep pushdowns ends up being kind of painful on this. So I finish up with a, a sandbag workout I don't know if my sandbag has collected some moisture, but it's been really slippery, um, which is ironic because at Nationals they had us use wet sandbags that were really hard to hold on to. So maybe this is a good thing that I'm practicing with something harder to hold on to. You can see on this rep specifically that I have a hell of a time getting a grip on it and I have to pick it over and over and over again, uh, which is great lower back work. I get a little bit better on this second round. Uh, I decided to do all my sandback work as three rounds and then push it for four rounds next cycle and then five rounds, six rounds, etc. cetera. Uh, these end up getting easier. I'm 
Not sure the weight of this sandbag. It's supposed to be under 200 pounds, but I've picked up a 200 sand pound sandbag and I can toss that over my shoulder like it's nothing. And this is a little bit harder to grip. Uh, somehow I figured out how to do sandbags all of a sudden. And on this third set, I have my best set. But as I finish up this, that's pretty much it for this video. Please like, subscribe, and if you have any questions on why or how I'm doing training, please feel free to ask in the comments.